if you are going to prosecute a United States president, yes, you have to come with clean hands. Yes. Period. Yeah. We are all human. We all have relationships and we date people in our profession and whatever the case may be. Yeah. But when you are trying to prosecute somebody like Donald Trump, your shit has to be tight. We're watching to me like these white people be very say violent things, mm -hmm. do violent things. They're on truth social saying God knows what. And it seems to not be a will to like actually, even when it comes to like January 6th, I feel like them sentences are short. Yeah. Y'all was attacking cops. Mm -hmm. And I feel like those sentences are real short. So like, is it that again, there's no will to do this or why? I mean, I look back and say like, why aren't these people being arrested? Yeah. You know, I think that, you know, with respect to, you know, the threats and things like that, Trump supporters have lost all sense of reason, or at least yes. the people that do this. I a can't thousand speak percent. for all, all of them. Yes. Um, but they've lost all sense well, of they reason. Speak for all of them. They're all, <laughs> they're all terrible. <laughs> and so, you know, in terms of, you know, finding these individuals, charging them, it's a very wide net. Um, and we look at things like judicial economy, not wanting to waste judicial resources and things like that. And it's not that I agree with it. Oh, I know you don't. But... Yeah. You know, we have, I mean, there's so many people. Because when, we, people are we, gonna go when we shoplift, that's never the case. Where it's like, oh, he just shoplifted mm -hmm. something small. It's never the case. Here, You had somebody, here's a quote. Somebody said, a, 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 a million armed men need to go to Washington and hang everyone. That's the only solution. Like, that person yeah. should be put in jail. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, and if, you know. I know it's making a terroristic threat. I know we come from a community that doesn't believe in snitching again. I'm I'm telling on all y'all like what? What if I knew his Twitter? Hand? No, seriously. And so I was actually having a conversation with somebody yesterday. We were talking about uh, child sex crimes, but this is very similar in the sense yeah. that being able to locate individuals on the Internet through Facebook or um, Meta and forwarding these things to law enforcement right. agencies that are able to respond to the threat. I mean, look at what happened, unfortunately, you know, in Tops, Tops Massacre in Buffalo, New York, right. when there were things being put out online yes. on Twitter that should have been flagged and sought prior to him going to that location. Absolutely. And I think, I don't know how long before it was, but then it's too late. So at yeah. what point are we going to take mental health and physical gun violence serious in this country, especially Absolutely. with something like this. And Trump does nothing but fan the flames. Right. And other people don't do anything but sit on their hands and cry after, you know, something unfortunate right. has happened. Now, now this um child sex crime, this wasn't this didn't involve like a rap group. <laughs> Somebody that had a weird case. <laughs> no, but <laughs> Why I'm is he around? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I actually, I actually thought you were talking about Diddy. <laughs> oh, oh no, you know, talking about you know them them weird case people and why are they around? Um, so from the weakest case, mm -hmm. which supposedly was the New York case where Alvin Bragg won, to what is considered the strongest case, uh, which is the case that Fannie Willis has, and Fannie Willis having this record of. Being, you know, some she has some really high conviction record. She just won re-election. Now it's saying that her, it's an appeal hearing. Mm -hmm. And that appeal hearing is set for October. So there's a likelihood now that Fannie Willis will be trying a sitting president for criminal crimes. Mm -hmm. What, how, how do we, Ooh. how do we comprehend that? I have so many thoughts about this. Please, please share. <laughs> um, so that is definitely true, and that's definitely a possibility. You know, I think that, you know, accountability is a big thing, and it's time that, you know, Trump be held accountable in a lot of ways. And yes. a lot of these politicians, because I'm not just, he's at the forefront right now because of the time we're living in, but we've yes. got a whole bunch of other individuals that are on the same wave that we just don't see directly in the limelight right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, that's definitely a possibility that she would be trying a sitting president. I think it's going to be a circus, you know, if that ultimately were to happen. And we know he's more than likely going to go to trial because he's not going to, you know, accept responsibility Absolutely. on a RICO. A and, and he already had, like, there already has been, like, these guilty pleas. Mm -hmm. And those people that pleaded guilty have basically saying that in their guilty plea, they're going to testify or help <laughs> in this case. Sounds like another case down there. Uh, 
state of Georgia versus YSL Young. Uh, yeah. Which yeah. I will say, you know, in terms of Fannie Willis, she seems like a wonderful person, but we have to be careful of the lines that we draw in terms of using free speech against defendants. Yes. And the circus that's going on in that trial, I can only imagine what it's going to look like when Trump goes to trial down there. Absolutely. Now, do you do you believe, you know, the the you know the issue was made of Fannie and the guy that she was having a relationship with? Do you did you believe that that was just smoke and mirrors, or was that something that Fannie should have known better? She should have known better. She should have known better. I personally believe and professionally believe if you are going to prosecute a United States president, yes. you have to come with clean hands. Yes. Period. Yeah. We are all human. We all have relationships and we date people in our profession and whatever the case may be. Yeah. But when you are trying to prosecute somebody like Donald Trump, your has to be tight. It's got to be tight. Um. Now, the last Trump, you know, I guess bit of information was that in Trump's own words, uh-uh. <laughs> Trump in his own words in 2016, Trump doesn't believe Trump should be president. Remember 2016 was his whole locker up for Hillary. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Cause he just came out and said, he never said locker up. And then I forget what news channel was. They just showed like a bunch of clips of him saying lock her up. She should go to jail. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but his, the case that he made mm-hmm. in 2016 was that if Hillary was elected president, she would be on trial mm-hmm. and that that trial would compromise her, her national security and, and would not allow her to do the job as president. Now here's Donald Trump who, if he wins, is going like, 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 I, I guess from essentially going to be in the same position yeah. that he, you know, he talks out of both sides of his mouth. But how compromised from a legal perspective, like how compromised would he be? We already listed a bunch of countries that he can't go to because he's mm-hmm. a convicted felon. But how compromised would he be that he's, you know, he would literally get inaugurated and then he might even be on trial during that time. Yeah, and you know, the presidency is a very important position. You've always got to be, you know, in office, traveling foreign affairs and particularly in the area of foreign affairs, right. you know, how are you going to accomplish the goals that a president should be accomplishing when you can't even leave the country, right. you can't even live, the, leave the County that you live in. You might be incarcerated and you're going to be sitting on trial. How much attention can you give to that presidential duty when you're is sitting in the middle of a trial fighting for your, for your freedom? Uh, yeah. I mean, we don't know how much he gives attention to the things anyway, But, I mean, part of me believes that America deserves Mm -hmm. an incarcerated president. I mean, it's just, what would be more American than a president (laughs) behind bars? I don't know if he would get a different type of uniform. Like, is he in red, white, and blue instead of orange? I don't know. (laughs) Um, But that would be fascinating to watch. Um, And, again, I don't... Part of me is like this season of America, that would be wild to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on the other hand, I mean, I don't know what that would mean to like the democratic process. Again, it's going to be wild.